All right, how's it going, y'all? So I want to talk a little bit about abstraction and when do you take abstraction too far? When have you crossed the line of over abstracting your code? And I kind of ran to a good example that I want to talk about on this personal side project that I'm kind of working on. So this little application, I have the ability for a user to go and upload images. So if I go to my images section, I can kind of create my own image library and I can upload images like this and click an upload button. But notice that the cards here, um, you know, there's like a remove button on the card and that's about it. But if I go over to a template, I added a modal that basically uses a very, very similar style of cards, right? Um, so same idea, you have an image displayed and you have a button. So off the bat, you might think this is a great example of when we could basically uh, abstract some stuff away to make it a reasonable component between these two things. Um, and I want to kind of show the difference. So if you look at the the card that had that use button, so this one, the blue one, this one is a Tailwind CSS component basically that has a use button. And when you click it, it calls an on image select. And that thing is passed in as a prop earlier on. Okay, so this is one kind of use case for the card when where we have a button that's blue and you click a button and it does some functionality, right? And if we look over the images component, we have something kind of similar where we have a image card again. And I actually duplicated this directly from this images. I basically copied and pasted it into my project. And now I'm at the point where I'm trying to see if I should abstract this away, keep my code dry, or if I should just keep with the duplication because I don't feel like there is enough uh, reasons to abstract. If you look here, there's kind of different functionality. Like this one has a remove button. When you click on the red remove button, it calls a different type of thing. And then it also calls refetch images. I think I could probably refactor this a little bit better. So it's not like calling refetch images, but maybe calling something else. You know, this code from here down is identical to this code from here down, right? So they're the exact same styles and the exact same HTML layout. Um, and so you might be like, okay, well, I can actually abstract this away. So let me show you my abstraction. And I'm going to show you why I think you can kind of start getting yourself into a mess by over abstracting some code. So what I did here is I created an image card helper that takes in a URL and some children. And the children are basically what you're going to be passing for the buttons, right? So here we have the children displayed. And if you look down here, we are using image card helper. We're passing the URL and inside of the DOM element itself, we pass in the button as a child. So, I mean, this is an abstraction away. Like, uh, and then I did the same thing over here where it's the same card helper, but I'm passing some buttons. Um, now, in my opinion, I feel like this has crossed the line of like making stuff actually more complex than needed, right? Sometimes it's good to dry up code, but when it comes to HTML, usually HTML is the thing that's going to change the most often. Okay, so I can foresee just because I've been doing this for a while that on one page, I'm going to have to change a little bit of margin or a little bit of padding or a little bit of styling because the UX is going to be different on this modal than compared to this other page where I have these other cards, right? And again, this is all like a kind of a prototype. Everything's in flight. So there's a very high chance that I'm gonna have to come in and change some styling, move some stuff around, uh, you know, modify the image a little bit. Maybe I don't even want to use cards here. Maybe I want to use something else. Um, so with those things in the back of my head, like going back to this abstraction, like, yeah, we kind of dried up some code, but in the end, was it worth it? Because now both of these components are very, very uh, kind of hard coded to the styling. And if in the future I decide I need to change just one little tweak, what is going to end up happening is I'm going to be, I'm going to feel obligated to basically add in some type of toggle or flag and be like, well, you know, should do this. And then I'm going to basically take that Boolean or flag and I'm going to change the class based on a flag that passes in. And as this application grows and gets larger and I start like using these thing in different places, I might be tempted to keep on adding some other flags. Uh, so like, I'll just keep on adding random properties and flags to this helper thing. And now I've taken a simple abstraction and I've kind of blown it out of proportion. I've made it too complex. And these are the things that we kind of want to avoid when we're engineering and, you know, designing components in my opinion. 
So I would say that this abstraction is bad. I would not do this in this case. I would just go back to the other approach, which was just duplicate the code. It's okay to have copy and paste the code, especially if you have a very, very high suspicion that this code is going to change or it's going to be in flux down the line. Okay, so that's all I wanted to kind of touch about on this topic. If you enjoyed watching, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Um, yeah, join my Discord as well. If you want to kind of talk to me or ask me questions or kind of ask my community questions about coding, if you're stuck on any type of coding problem, join my Discord, say hello, send a message. Anyway, have a good day, and I hope this video helped. Happy coding.